Hey, it's a gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Turn off or who notices something different about me? I know, I, I've, I've done something with my hair, fuck knows. Uh, you might be as baffled as I am. I don't know what you think yet. Please just be nice. I could do with a little bit of uh, self-confidence. That would be nice. But anyway, we're here today to talk about the Celtic Rosenberg match this Wednesday uh, and the Champions League third round qualifiers. Uh, we've got a tough game, to be honest with you. It's, it's not the easiest. It's not the hardest. It's probably going to be one of those games where I've just got to be careful. Before we move on, make sure to hit like and subscribe if you do enjoy this video. It'll help. We're so close to hitting 6k. So thank you all very much. It's an honour to be back to such a, a great support. You know, obviously been away for the past week, came back, and the sub count is still growing, the view count still going up. I, I love the support, so thank you all very much. Also, expect my hair to look different on like every single video. Some days I won't be asked. This is this is new for me. I, f I feel like a prick. Anyway, anyway, right, moving on. Celtic, Rosenberg, Wednesday night. First leg at Parkhead. We know the factor going into the, the Green Brigade aren't going to be there. We're going to avoid that. I'm not going to talk about it too much, apart from, we'll start off with it because I want to get out of the way because I do not want the video to be just about the Green Brigade and just about the atmosphere. If you want to see a video about the Green Brigade, watch my video from yesterday talking about the ban itself. Uh, a lot of people have saying there's going to be a massive difference on Wednesday night. You're going to notice it in the pitch ban and the Green Brigade's a horrible decision that's going to completely affect the team. I think, I, I honestly, I disagree. I don't think it's, I think it will come to some effect. I feel, there will, I feel there will be points of the game where it feels quite empty. There probably will be that one or two those one or two points of the game where we feel like geez oh we need something to start here uh, but I don't think it's going to affect the team massively. I don't think it's going to be something... That, I think the team are still going to be very up for it. It's still a Champions League night. They're still going to have 50,000, 55,000 fans in the stadium to play for. So I'm sure one front section won't make a massive difference. That's just my opinion. You might disagree. We'll get that out of the way. I just don't feel like there's going to be a massive uh, change in the team's playing and the team's style because of the, the absence of the Green Brigade. Moving on anyway to talk about the game itself. We go into the game against the Norwegian Champions which, if honestly this was three years ago, two years ago even, I would be very scared and worried that we'd be getting knocked out, but I feel like Rosenberg aren't the force they used to be. Well, they weren't really a force, but they were always a tricky team. You've seen them in Europe, they would always cause problems, and for Celtic, we've always had this problem with Scandinavian teams. Well, in recent times, we've been knocked out of Molda, we've been knocked out of uh, Malmo, uh, we've not been very good at going up to the Scandinavian countries, or even hosting the Scandinavian teams at Parkhead, and hopefully this will be a change here as we take on the Norwegian champions uh, in Rosenborg. It is a bit worrying going into it that we have been so bad against these teams in the past, but I feel like it's a new leaf now. We've turned over. Uh, it's a new, completely new setup, completely new team, obviously. We've not taken on a team from Scandinavia with Brendan Rodgers in charge, and now with him in charge, it'll be completely different. I think we'll cope fine. It all comes down to this home leg, I think. It's got to be very important. I think we can go up there and struggle. I think we can struggle in Norway. I think that's a given. They've got a big, uh, passionate support support, they'll be up for it as much as we're up for it at Parkhead, I think it will be difficult in the away leg, we've got to get things done and dusted in this first leg in my opinion, we've got to get a comfortable win, um, a bit like the win we got against Hapoel Bersheva when we won 5-2, like, I think it was Hapoel Bersheva wasn't it, and, and then we went away and we struggled, we got beat 2-0, we were very close to, to losing that tie, um, but uh, if we get a good home result, I think it will be in our hands. I think it's just a, a case of going up, getting even just a one goal away from home, and things will be okay. The home result is what matters, though, massively. I think we've got to do our best to actually get a result. Uh, and I think we will get a result. Hopefully, we, we just play our normal football. They might play a bit defensive. I don't see them being as defensive as Linfield were. Obviously, Linfield, 10 men behind the ball at the majority of the game, looking to concede as little as goals as possible, especially in that away leg when we played them in Northern Ireland. I think it will be a bit different with Rosenberg. I see them being defensive, but I don't see them being as defensive. They go into this game top of their division. Obviously, they're still halfway through their season. How it works up there is they, they have their break in the winter, and they just go all the way through from whatever, it's like February to November or something like that. They are currently sitting top just now, uh, with only two losses this season. The last two uh, league results, they've won 3-0 and 5-1, so they're on decent league form at the minute. They are currently domestically doing very well, but against Dundalk, it took them to extra time to put them away, which is what is saying to me, 
And this is why I think it's different from if we played them three years ago. Now we should be putting them away fairly easily. I think they're struggling against Dundalk and having to take it to extra time. And Dundalk actually took the lead over in Norway. If they're having to take Dundalk to extra time, surely we should be putting them away fairly easily. Some some sort of way that suggests that we're a few leagues, a, a few miles ahead of them. I mean, if it was three years ago, as I said, I would be expecting differently. I'd be expecting a very, very close tie. But Rosenborg seemed to struggle this year so far, whereas a few years ago they didn't seem to struggle as much. And if they're taking so much to beat Dundalk, if they're having to go to extra time, I feel like that's a, a team that we should be beating fairly easily, as I've said. So hopefully that is reflected in what the score will be on Wednesday night. But the home leg is what matters most. Hopefully feel the best team. I'd like to see Dembele start again, hopefully get some goals under his belt, um, some competitive goals. Uh, and hopefully Sinclair keeps up his great form, obviously scoring two in the last game. I think we, we'll do well though. I think there's no need to worry about this whole atmosphere sort of thing taken out of the team. I think we'll be fine. Obviously if we're not fine, that could be a potential factor into it, but I feel like if we do play poorly, we can't blame it solely on the fact the Green Brigade weren't there. We're all, there's still 50,000 fans in the stadium, and surely we should, if the team do go in to do badly, then it's probably more of a factor of the team just playing poorly, which I don't expect to happen anyway. Uh, we should be playing very well, we should be playing fine, and hopefully we'll comfortably go through to the, the last round of qualifiers uh, in the Champions League, which would be nice, which would be handy, very handy. Anyway, uh, I think that's all I need to talk about, to be honest. Uh, after a performance last week, though, I'm feeling confident. If I'm putting my, my, my actual prediction, my score prediction, I will go for... 4-1 to Celtic, I think we might concede a goal. I feel like it might be quite a scrappy goal, but I see us conceding. I don't know why, I can just see us conceding a goal. I hope we don't. I have I have faith we can try and keep something out, but I see us slipping at one point, even if we're up like 4-0 and then we just slip a goal away. I'm going to go 4-1. I don't know if that's overly confident in a way, because I feel it could be closer. But as I said, they struggled against Ndalk, so we should be taking it. Especially at home, we need to be ruthless, we have to be aggressive going forward, and just make most of our chances. Anyway, if you've enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Also be nice to me about this, Barnett. Please, I, I I really, really would like this the, to the, this the self consciousness to go away. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm, I'm I don't fucking care. Go with you. Say what you want. Anyway, see you all later.